To take a look inside any folder, you need to place your mouse arrow above the folder you wish to look inside and double click. So I'll place my mouse arrow above the student's documents or my documents folder and double click. Two quick clicks. The My Documents folder has been opened up. How do we know that? We know that the My Documents folder has been opened up because our title bar says My Documents. Remember earlier in this video I mentioned always take a look at your title bar because the title bar will tell you where you are located, what you are looking in. So you take a look at the title bar, it says My Documents. We know we are inside of the My Documents folder. Now, let's take a look at what's located inside the My Documents folder. We have more folders. And the folder we're looking for is the Recipes folder. So how would we look inside the Recipes folder? You're right. What we do, take our mouse arrow, place it above the Recipes folder, and give a quick double click with the left mouse button and we'll then be able to look inside the recipes folder. So we'll take our mouse arrow, place the mouse arrow above the recipes folder, double click with the left mouse button, click click, and the recipes folder will open up. We've now opened up the recipes folder. We know that we've opened up the recipes folder because if you look at the title bar of the new window, it says recipes. So since the title bar says recipes, we know we are looking inside of the recipes folder. And what's located here? We have even more folders. We have a meats folder and a soups folder and a desserts folder. Well, we want to look inside the desserts folder. See what's in there. So how would we open up the, the desserts folder? We take our mouse arrow place it above the desserts folder, give a double click with the left mouse button, and the desserts folder will be opened up. Let's do that together. So we take our mouse arrow and we place the mouse arrow on top of the desserts folder. Once the mouse arrow is above the desserts folder, with our left mouse button we give a quick double click. Click, click. And the desserts folder opens up. The desserts folder has been opened up. And how do we know that? Once again, we take a look at the title bar. The title bar says desserts. See how important that title bar is? It always tells us what we are looking inside of, where we're located. And the desserts folder doesn't contain any more folders. There's no more of those, of those little yellow items. We actually have recipes. So we can now find our recipe. And from our previous example with the folders I was holding, we're looking for the peach sorbet recipe. In order to open up the peach sorbet recipe, I'm going to take my mouse arrow, place my mouse arrow on top of the peach sorbet recipe, give a quick double click, 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 and the recipe will be opened up. Let's do that together. To open up a file, or in this case, the peach sorbet recipe, take your mouse arrow, Place your mouse arrow above the icon which represents the peach sorbet recipe. Give a double click with the left mouse button. Click, click. And the peach sorbet recipe will be opened up for us. Now, let's review what we just did. We went to the My Documents folder. And we looked inside the My Documents folder. Once we looked inside the My Documents folder, we found another folder called Recipes. And we decided to look inside the Recipes folder. So we double clicked on the Recipes folder and we found a bunch of other folders in there. We like desserts, so we took our mouse arrow, double clicked on the Desserts folder and found a whole bunch of recipes. Then when we went through the Desserts folder, we found the Peach Sorbet recipe and we double clicked on peach sorbet and took it out of the folder. Now in this example, take a look. We now have a peach sorbet recipe opened up. Now here's an idea that's going to be coming back from Basic Computers Part 1. 
Remember that I mentioned that every program or anything we work with on the computer will open up in a separate window. Well, we've been flipping through all these folders and we've been going into all these different folders within one window. When we opened up the recipe, the peach sorbet recipe, we pulled that recipe out of the folder and we ended up with two items. We have a folder in one hand and we have a recipe in another. We have two separate items, two separate windows. How do we know that? Take a look at your taskbar at the bottom of the screen. We have one taskbar that says desserts, that goes with the desserts folder, and another button on the taskbar that goes with peach sorbet. We now have two windows. Now if you remember from Basic Computers Part 1, we can toggle back and forth between windows by using those buttons down on that taskbar. Let's do that together. To flip back and forth between windows, simply click on the corresponding button on the toolbar or the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. Click once on the desserts recipe folder and the desserts folder will appear. If you want your peach sorbet recipe back, click once on the peach sorbet recipe at the bottom of the screen and the peach sorbet recipe will reappear. Now let's pretend that we're done with this peach sorbet recipe. We're finished. We've printed off the recipe, we've made our sorbet. Whatever the case, we do not need our peach sorbet anymore. So remember from Basic Computers Part 1, every window comes with an X or a close button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Simply take your mouse, place your mouse arrow above the X on the peach sorbet screen, click one time with the left mouse button and the peach sorbet window will close. Let's do that together. To close the peach sorbet window, let's place our mouse arrow right on top of the red X. Once the arrow is on top of the red X, with your left mouse button, click one time and that window will disappear. Now take a look. We're left with one window, the, the desserts folder. And take a look at your taskbar at the bottom of the screen. There's only one button now, the, the desserts button. Now when you're working with your computer, you may not have a recipes folder. You may not have a desserts folder or a peach sorbet recipe on your computer. This computer was set up so we can help teach how to navigate through the computer. So when you go home, your computer will look different. You will have a My Documents folder, but what is contained within that My Documents folder will be different because you set it up. That is your personal folder, but all the concepts we're working with today will be the same. When you have folders on your computer, you can double click on those folders to see what is inside of those folders. When you come up to a file, like the peach sorbet recipe, you can double click on the file and that recipe or that file will open up and you can read that file. When you're done with any of these windows, whether it's a folder or a file, you can click on the X in the upper right hand corner, close that document, close that file close that folder and the window will disappear. So if you're ever working on your computer and you get lost, you have no idea where you're located and you begin to panic, just find the X in the upper right hand corner of the window, start clicking those X's and you'll, you'll be returned to your desktop. The next topic I want to cover is a button located in the upper left hand corner of your screen called the back button. The back button is represented by a green arrow pointing to the left and sometimes there's even the word back written right on top of the button. The back button enables us to retrace our steps. Every time you click the back button you'll be taken back one step. So currently we are located within the desserts folder. If we click the back button, we'll be taken to the recipes folder. 
We click the back button once again, we will go back to My Documents. You click the back button once again, we will be taken all the way back to My Computer. So the back button is very important in helping us to navigate through the computer and retrace our steps. Let's use the back button together. Let's take our mouse arrow, place the mouse arrow right on top of the back button. Click one time with the left mouse button and we retrace our steps. We are now located in the recipes folder. Click the back button one more time with the left mouse button and we are returned to my documents. Click the left mouse button one more time on top of the back button and we are returned all the way to my computer. To review the My Documents folder, folder provided for us to store our stuff in. Beginning computer users usually store everything inside this folder because it is easy to locate. The My Documents folder may be titled differently on different computers. In some cases, the My Documents folder Will, will be titled with the name of the current user. For example, if your username on the computer is John, the My Documents folder will be titled John's folder instead of My Documents. Navigating My Computer. Double click on any folder to view its contents. The title bar will always indicate what folder you are currently viewing. After you have navigated through your computer's files, you can use the back button to retrace your steps. Or, click on the close button represented by the X in the upper right hand corner of each window. Before starting Section 2 of Basic Computers Part 3, I would like everybody to click all of the X's for any windows that you have open. We want to start Section 2 with a completely clean desktop.